Okay, so we're gonna turn it on, ready? And we are on air today! Woohoo! Yoohoo! Hey guys, welcome back to Grass Life. My name is Yas, and I'm going to be your Grass Life guru. We are on air with Grass Life Yas. I am so excited because today not only do we have cool props that we got here, we are going to be eating because I am absolutely starving, Marvin. So what are we going to be eating today? It is actually one of my favorite staples of being a vegan. And no, we are not going to be eating staples. <laughs> And we are going to be eating something that is very well known across the vegan community, and that is hummus. I've heard it pronounced as hummus, but I personally call it hummus because it's pronounced hummus. So, let's get started with a few different brands of hummus, and we're going to try them out together. Usually I don't eat in front of people, but you know, I think we are close enough friends that I'm okay with you seeing me stuff my face. So, uh, let's get started. So, first up, we have this Kirkland hummus. It is organic hummus. I don't know how organic that is. Comes in a box full of these little individual serving size pieces. This is really good because if you like the taste of garlic, you're going to love this one. So you just kind of peel back the top and it looks like that. There's no stirring required for this one. So I'm going to just dip my finger in it and then we're going to talk about what you can actually eat with hummus. Ooh, that tastes like pure garlic puree. <laughs> Good thing I won't be kissing nobody. <laughs> Up next, we have this one called Sabra Hummus. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, but you know, that's not important. So you can get hummus pretty much anywhere. Whole Foods. Even Walmart has hummus. Costco. You just want to stick your spoon in there and stir it around. You're just going to lick the spoon on this one. You know, that one's not as... Oh. It's a little salty, but it's not as garlicky, so if you want to smoosh someone at the end of the night, this one's probably your better choice to go. Alright, up next we have this one here. I've never tried this one before. It is a canned hummus. You don't get it in the refrigerated section. So I've never tried it before. Uh, there's no harm in trying new things. It is by the brand Ours. <laughs> As you can see, it's really a, uh, it's really thick and viscous. Oh my god, ew, ew, I got the juices on me. Anyways, we're gonna stir this one up too. Oh man, if consistency is a big thing for you, I would not go with this one. Kinda smells like a belly button if you haven't washed it in a while. Yeah, that tastes like a belly button. <laughs> So if you don't like any of the store-bought hummuses, you can actually make your own. Hummus only needs a few simple ingredients. It's not very difficult. All you need is some sort of blending whipping device. What I use usually is just a magic bullet or a neutral bullet if you are extra bougie and fancy. Or if you bought one for your mom for Christmas a couple years ago and she hasn't used it, so you can go ahead and use it. And today we are lucky enough to have the stars of hummus on set today, so we are going to bring them on out and introduce them to our lovely fans out here in the audience. So give them a warm round of applause, the stars of Hermes. First up, we have some chickpeas. So you can use canned chickpeas or you can soak your own chickpeas. That takes way too long. Take some chickpeas, you're going to just strain the water out and then pop that into your blender or mixing device. Up next, we have Little Miss Tahini. I don't know why sometimes it's spelled tahina on the jar or bottle. Tahini, tahina, tomato, tomato, potato, patata. What is tahini, do you ask? Tahini is actually a sesame paste. So it is sesame seeds with a little bit of sesame oil, and it's very thick and viscous. I would not recommend eating it by itself unless you like really strong like bitter sesame flavors we're gonna put it into our hummus so you do a scoop of this you do want to dilute the hummus because at this point is going to be fairly thick and viscous you are going to be adding some liquids to make sure that it's not super thick and it goes down your throat very smoothly for liquids we are going to be adding some lemon juice now you can use real lemon juice you go out and buy a lemon and squeeze your own lemon or if life gives you lemons, you just squeeze them and put them in there. 
You can also add some garlic and salt in there. Personally, I don't add any salt to my homemade hummuses because I'm not a big fan of salt. I don't like salty foods. Lies. Lies and slander, you love salt. But I'm trying to reduce my salt intake, so I just add some lemon juice, garlic, and leave it as clean tasting as can be. You know, nature intended these ingredients to taste like this, so I am going to accept nature for what it's done and really appreciate its art. So you're probably wondering, what do you eat hummus with? I mean, you can't just take the jar of hummus and spoon it into your mouth. Some of us do it guilty as charged. You caught me red-handed. I do sit on the couch and eat hummus kind of like it was an ice cream. But if you don't want to go that route, there are some other delicious products that you can actually dip into your hummus. So my absolute favorite carrying device to take the hummus, rocket ship it into my mouth, is don't stoned wheat thins. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure you hit up your local Costco for the biggest box available. Up next, this is a more traditional way to have hummus, is with some pita bread. Cut it up into little triangles, kind of like tortilla chips. So that's a really good option. So another option if you're trying to be healthy and watch the figure, watch your waist go straight into your pants. You can do rice cakes, rice crackers, I don't really know what they're called, but you know those big like rice things that people eat when they're on a diet? Mmm, smells like tree bark, love it. So if you're not into all of the green products, you can actually use vegetables as your scooping device to put that hummus into your orifice in your face, called a mouth. Fresh vegetables. You can cut up bell peppers, red, green, orange, yellow, all of the colors of the rainbow. You can also use carrots or celery. Personally, I'm not a big fan of celery. She tastes like dirt. Cherry tomatoes, broccoli, snap peas. And if you wanna go that extra mile to be super fancy and bougie, you can take a lettuce leaf and spread some hummus on it. You can take a spoon, a spatula, a fork, whatever you got in the drawer, you know, whatever's clean. Just scoop on and spread that hummus. And then you can take some crackers, crumble them up, dust them onto this lettuce leaf with the hummus base, roll it up like a taquito and just eat it. And you've got the exact same crisp as a taquito with way more vitamins and nutrients. Your next question is probably, what khasiat does it have? Khasiat here in Farsi translation, khasiat meaning what nutrients. You probably didn't know you're gonna be learning some Farsi while you were here. Nutritional value of hummus. We have protein from the beans or chickpeas. You get calcium from the tahinis because tahini is actually made from sesame seeds and sesame seeds are rich in calcium. So there you go. Another nutrient that is rich in hummus is iron. Up next in the nutrient chart, we have fiber because it is all plant-based, so it will keep you feeling fuller longer as well as help clean out your intestinal tract. And this is probably my favorite nutrient in all of hummus, and that is the monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats. Fat! What? Fats are bad for you. Not these kinds, honey. Monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats are good fats that can be found in vegetable oils, avocado, nuts, and seeds. And these fats are really good at cleaning out your bloodstream of bad cholesterols or low density lipids. Would you look at me? That's all the time we have for this week. Without a further ado, I'm gonna head out and go eat some hummus and crackers because I'm still hungry. I will see you hummus tahini chickpeas later. All right, you guys have probably had enough weirdo yas for one day, so I'ma let you go. But don't forget to keep on shining and just being you. Mm -hmm. Peace out, hippies.